Guys, for today's video, we're going to visit the baptismal site of Jesus in Jordan at the border between Israel and Jordan on the east bank of the Jordan River and it's known as Betabara or also Bethany beyond the Jordan a UNESCO World Heritage Site This was not part of our group tour, so this was a separate excursion for Shanti and I, and we hired Muhammad to take us there. Okay, John. Okay, okay yeah. You are happy? Okay, so Amy. far. Amy. Amy. Yes, Amy. Smile. <laughs> you are with the professional driver. Okay, okay. With Jordan. <laughs> okay, I am a late driver from Jordan. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so you see, Muhammad, our guide, was very cheerful and was giving us good service but I'm sure you wanted a good tip in the end of the tour. So now we buy tickets say John. Okay. So guys, although Jordan was an Islamic state, this baptism site was run by an independent board of trustees appointed by the King Abdullah of Jordan. What is important to note here is the fact that in Jesus' times, the river Jordan was a wide river and the banks reached up to this spot. But now the river has receded away. This baptism site is open daily from 8 am to 5 pm, and the entrance fee is 12 Jordanian dinners for non Jordanians. And only group tours are allowed because it is close to the border between Israel and Jordan. So now we are following our guide being ushered to a bus in a small group. Okay, my friends, welcome uh, to you all. Uh, now we please will be walking to the baptism site and we are going to have a short stop for five minutes at the museum, the three coast of uh, So after a 15 minute ride, we are alight from the bus and walk towards this museum. So before going to the baptism site, we are asked to enter this museum and in this museum, you can see various items, clothes, crosses and other religious articles kept and preserved here for us to appreciate. So guys, there are four compelling reasons why this is postulated to be the site of the baptism of Jesus Christ. And they are number one. There are important phrases in the Bible which mention this place, Bethany, as the site of the baptism of Jesus. Number two, the mosaic map and Madaba which we saw in the earlier video identifies Bethany as the baptism spot of Jesus. Number three, there are accounts of pilgrims which mention this site as the baptism spot of Jesus and number four there are archaeological remains of five churches at this very location the remains of five churches dated from the 5th to the 12th centuries can be found at this spot this is an aerial view of a map identifying the five churches found here the first church you can see is the remains of the St. John the Baptist Church built around the 5th century common era. Then we have church number 2, the Mantle Church where only 4 peers remain. Church number 3, the Lower Basilica. Church 4, the Upper Basilica and a shelter has been built over it to preserve it. Church number 5, the Small Chapel. This chapel also has a shelter built over it. And you can see there are marble steps leading down to the baptism pool. And finally, the baptism pool in the shape of the cross is the exact spot where Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. The five churches and the public baptism at pool. Down there, in fact, is the monumental uh, cruciform baptistry that used the flowing waters of Jordan for the baptism of people who came from all over the world doing the pilgrimage to the Holy Land. So that's again the uh, original spot where Jesus uh, Christ was baptized by John. According to our guide, there are archaeological remains of five churches at this site and this is corroborated by evidence from pilgrims about the existence of five churches here. 
this means this was an important religious site and that is why this is postulated to be the place where Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. Only four piers remain of the mantle church. This is the place where Jesus disrobed before being baptized by John the Baptist. This is church number two. Church number five is the small chapel and a small shelter has been built over it too. Then we have these marble steps leading down from the old church above there down to the cruciform baptismal pool where Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. So guys, the third reason why this is considered the place that Jesus Christ was baptized is because it is mentioned in the Holy Bible. The third important evidence, my friends, is the Holy Gospel. And that's where we have a number of passages that say clearly the baptism of Jesus Christ took place in Bethany beyond the Jordan or Bethabara. So the site where Jesus Christ was baptized was mentioned in the Holy Gospel either as Bethany beyond Jordan and Bethany uh, means the house of the believer in Old Aramaic uh, language um, or Bethabara, the second name Bethabara uh, that referred to the same place in the Holy Gospel uh, means the house of the cross which referred to the uh, place as a crossing point the, the point where many prophets and holy figures crossed was it was a charge of the Jordan that's what it means the house of the crossing this place Bethany or Betabara is also mentioned in the mosaic map found in Madaba the oldest map of the Holy Land dated 6th century common era the fourth important evidence my friends is still available at St. George's Church in Madaba City has anyone here? Yeah. So guys, the guide is talking about the mosaic map found in Madaba in St. George's Church. It's a 6th century common era map, the oldest map in the Holy Land. And it mentions Betabara as the place of the baptism of Jesus. And guys, here is the link for my visit to that Madaba Church to see this map. This has been recognized as the real place where Jesus Christ was baptized by three popes. Um, uh, the late Pope John Paul II, uh, blessed our sign in 2000. Uh, in 2009, it was blessed for the second time by the late or the former Pope Benedict XVI, the present Pope uh, Francis I. 2014, when he visited our site and, and, and blessed our site for the third time. So guys, as we carry on walking upwards past the baptismal site, you can see the remains of two more old churches. They are the Upper Basilica or the Fort Church and the remains of St. John the Baptist Church, of which only the piers remain standing. So as we enter the sheltered portion here, we can see the remains of the lower basilica on both sides of the sheltered portion. This is the third of five churches found at this location. And right in front of you are the remains of the upper basilica, the Fort Church. So guys, after seeing the baptismal spot of Jesus, we're going to walk towards the River Jordan. We're going to see how much the river has receded until today. And we are passing by this church, Greek Orthodox Church, built in the 20th century. This church of St. John the Baptist at Bethany beyond the Jordan was constructed near the traditional site of baptism of Jesus Christ. It was constructed in the late 20th century. The walls of this church are covered with frescoes and the floor with nice intricate mosaic. As you see, there are a wide variety of frescoes even on the ceiling of the church. And these are the mosaic pieces on the floor. There is also this nice picture of the baptism of Jesus. And in this chest here is supposed to be the bony remains of St. John the Baptist's hands, if you want to believe that. Now we are walking towards the Jordan River. You can see this forms the border between Jordan and Israel. And on the opposite side of the river, you can see pilgrims from Israel coming to bathe or dip themselves in the Jordan River. But on this side, we are from Jordan, 
we can also dip into this secret spot to do this so guys you can see I, I was just contented in dipping my feet into the Jordan River but if you're really enthusiastic about your religion as you see the pilgrims on the Israeli side they actually dip the whole body into the swirling waters hopeful to get some blessings from God I suppose cheers So that was an interesting trip visiting the baptism site of Jesus Christ by John the Baptist. Now let's head off for some lunch. So for our final lunch in the tour, we were taken to Tawahin Al Hawa restaurant in Amman, Jordan for some traditional Jordanian cuisine. It had a four and a half star rating by TripAdvisor as seen here and it was supposed to be one of the best restaurants in Amman. Now, this was an interesting sight. At the entrance to the restaurant, they had this Bedouin lady making Bedouin bread the traditional way on a hot stove. So you can see we all are waiting anxiously for our food, very hungry indeed, after the walk around Bethany. The first dish was a basket of hot flat bread. It looked like actually puri, but it was nice and crispy. And then of course the dips come in, labne, baba, ganoush, tahini and hummus. All to be dipped in that bread served earlier and they also had some roasted chicken wings and sausages with grilled pepper and onions as seen here as an addition to all this there were also freshly made falafel which they were serving us individually there comes the falafel The mint juice was the best among all the juices. It had a nice minty taste and it was cold and refreshing. And finally, after all those appetizers, this was the main course. Lamb and chicken shish kebab covered on top by that soft bread made by that Bedouin lady earlier. For dessert, they had freshly cut watermelon, very nice and sweet and cool. And for traditional Jordanian sweets, they had two types of nafe. One made with spun pastry called kataifi. It's very sweet and delicious. Finally, just before we left, they gave us some nice hot Arabian coffee as a digestive. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this trip to the baptism site at Jordan and finally a nice lunch. Stay, Stay tuned for the 20th and last video of my trip to the Holy Land where we visit Petra, one of the current seven wonders of the world. Cheers! Yeah.